So for the next uh, hour and a half, we're going to try and connect with this mantra over there, the Hare Krishna Maha Mantra. These three words, Hare Krishna and Rama. Krishna means the most attractive. And when we try to chant his names with love and devotion, with bhakti, you know, he attracts our hearts. This is the whole purpose of kirtan, is to be connected to the Lord. Simply by opening our mouths and ears and letting this mantra go deep in the heart, create something powerful there in the heart, a revolution in the heart, and then come back out very loudly through the mouth. This is called kirtan. Kirtan is not a performance. We're, not, we're sitting on this side. I have the microphone, there's the instruments, but we are not here to entertain all of you. But every one of us have the same responsibility as the one leading the kirtan, which means to sincerely connect with each syllable, with each mantra that we will be chanting. One of our great acharyas, Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur, tells us that kirtan is meant only for Krishna's pleasure, not even for our own pleasure. Because, you know, many times, you know, people come after the kirtan and they say, oh, we really enjoyed the kirtan. But the real enjoyment is when the Lord is pleased. Then we get 10 times or 100 times much more happiness in the heart when we try to please the Lord by chanting sincerely with devotion, with bhakti. So this is what we will try and do, you know, by the mercy of our great teachers, the great acharyas, Srila Prabhupada, you know, he went to America when he was 70, 70 years old and started this Hare Krishna movement. And this is why we're here today in Perth. You know, I would never have imagined, you know, to come to Perth any time before. But, you know, by the mercy of Srila Prabhupada, we're all here, different colors, different uh, countries, united by one mantra, the Hare Krishna Maha Mantra. So we are very grateful and thankful to Srila Prabhupada for having given us this powerful, this wonderful gift of chanting this mantra, the Hare Krishna Maha Mantra. The whole purpose of Kirtan is not, it's an internal meditation, but the internal meditations come from chanting these sound vibrations. Vibrations means, you know, the lips have to move. We have to vibrate. This spiritual sound vibration, this mantra is not man-made. This mantra has been existing since time immemorial, and it's non-different from the Lord himself. And we get to know Krishna by hearing by chanting his names sincerely. This is what Srila Prabhupada tells us. Just try to hear ourselves chant sincerely. It sounds very easy, right? But it's not. Because the mind is so complex, it's so compli complicated, it's so distracted. That's why it's not easy. But always it's very easy. You know, this mantra is full of joy and bliss and love. And we just need to uh, tap into it, you know, to go deep into this mantra to find that real joy and happiness which everyone is looking for. So this is the whole purpose of Kirtan. So please chant very loudly. Please bring the mind back to the mantra whenever it's running away. I'm just talking about my own mind. You know. That's why, you know, I close my eyes, you know, and try to go into a meditation. And whenever the mind is running away, 
we bring it back to the mantra, then Krishna sees that we're sincerely trying with much effort to connect with the mantra, then he gives us that little push which we all need, which is called mercy. That mercy of the holy names, the mercy of our great teachers, of the Acharyas. This is what we need to be able to chant this mantra. Because we don't make the kirtan happen. I don't make the kirtan happen. This is not the Madhava show this evening. Kirtan is not a show. Thank you. Hare Krishna. So please chant loudly. Please chant with your hearts. You can close your eyes. You can meditate. But please chant. That's the whole purpose. And when the rhythm picks up, please also dance. But when we dance, don't forget to chant. Because the tendency is like, you know, we let go of the mantra when we dance. You know, it becomes more of a fun thing. It is fun. But the mantra should always be in the center. When we're chanting, when we're playing the instruments. One time, well, I used to stay in Vrindavan, the holy land of Vrindavan. And my service, my seva was to do six hours of kirtan every day. And I used to be, well, quite a few of you know, Aindra Prabhu, Aindra Das. He was my kirtan guru. And uh, I used to be his drummer. I was 18 years old at that time. And I would just play the drum and never sing. And I would just watch my hands, you know, how fast it was going, you know, the fancy rhythms that I was playing on, on the drum and not chant. And for one whole year after the kirtan, he would call me to his room and lecture me for two, three hours, not five minutes. But two, three hours, he would lecture me how I was not the best mid on the player. One, one day he told me, here, yeah. he said, uh, can you play better Murdanga than Lord Shiva? <laughs> because Lord Shiva is the best of drummers, the best of, dancer, of the dancers. <laughs> of course I said, no. And he said, your Murdanga play is zero if you don't put a one before it. And that one is the chanting of the Hare Krishna Maha Mantra. So just, I'm just reminding myself, but it's also nice to share it to others. Especially the young kids growing up to do kirtan. Uh, just remember, you know, chanting is the most important, not the talents. It's nice to sing beautifully for the Lord, but the mood of chanting is the most important. Chant with humility. This is what the Lord wants, sincerely. So please chant loudly, please chant with your heart.
Matthews, Lil Lauda, Lady Lauda. Oh, 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 oh. 
Oh, oh, oh. 
Thank you for coming and chanting and dancing with, with us this evening. This is a very powerful and simple process to connect ourselves with the Lord, with Krishna Himself. We just need to learn how to chant this mantra sincerely from the heart, you know, taking ourselves out of the equation and putting the mantra in the center. But this is how it should be done, without any ego, just the mantra in the center, just Krishna in the center. And this is what Kirtan is all about, glorifying the Lord. And it brings so much joy, so much happiness in the heart. But ultimately, most importantly, it connects us with Krishna Himself. Thank you everyone for coming. Very special thanks to Maharati, he's all, almost having a heart attack. <laughs> And we have a Mongo, Mongo, Maharaj's brother, and the bass guitar. Thank you, Mongo. They both came from Bali to uh, to be with us for this weekend. And we have my old friend Nitai on the gongs. Thank you, Nitai. Gopal on the cartels, thank you. Yeah. So Saurav on the cartels. Yeah. And we have Sri Radha Man Prabhu. Yeah. And, uh, and the Wampers. Thank you. And each and a very special thanks to each and every one of you who've come and uh, chanted with us. Without you all, we wouldn't be having Kirtan. So we really appreciate your presence here today. And also a couple of announcements. Can we have that retreat uh, thing on, please? Yes. I'm just gonna, just one minute. And also very special thanks to the ISKCON temple, Sitaram Prabhu, uh, the temple president, for uh, you know having us here. Yeah. Uh, it's always a pleasure to come in uh, you know, one of our programs here at the Hare Krishna Temple. Thank you. Thank you, Guru. Thank you for And also a very special thanks to Srila Prabhupada. So one uh, small announcement, you know, in uh, October, you know, we're having a, a an India retreat you know, from the 2nd to the 10th of October, four days in Rishikesh, chanting on the bank, chanting kirtans on the banks of the river uh, Ganga, yoga in the mornings, and we have classes in the Bhagavad Gita, Japa sessions, Cartels, we're going to show people how to play the cartels and how to apply it in Kirtan. Cooking workshop, it's basically a bhakti yoga lifestyle. And also four days in the holy land of bhakti, Vrindavan. Where we're going to have Kirtans. Well, Kirtan is every day in the schedule. And then we have different other programs visiting old temples, you know, th thousands of, and thousands of years old temples. You know, diving into tra the tradition of bhakti yoga. So anyone interested, uh, you can scan the bar barcode on the post that's coming soon. Just like they say in India, just now coming. 
<laughs> or you can grab one of, you can contact me, I have a little card, you can scan the barcode and, uh, or email me if you, if you want to come. Thank you. And also, every Friday, you know, here in Perth, you know, in the city, they have what we call Harinam, the chanting of this mantra in the streets of Perth, in the city. And this is every Friday from 6 to 7.30. So anyone interested, you can co contact uh, Sora, you can come, join in. It's very blissful. It's nice to sit in the temple and chant, but it's also so wonderful to spread this mantra, you know, with other people, you know, on the streets. I mean, I personally, myself, you know, 10 days of the year, you know, I spend in New York, in the crazy city, city of New York, just sitting down sometimes, you know, in the, in the subway, you know, down, it's like you can't breathe properly, but we chant in the subway or at uh, Washington Square Park, where thousands and thousands of people walk by. So please come and support these guys, you know, if you're local here, and if you want more kirtan. Thank you, Hare Krishna. This is the poster for the retreat, 2nd to the 10th of October. There's a little barcode there, those interested, you can scan that and it will take you to the webpage and you get all the details, all the schedule, and everything. Thank you. Hare Krishna. Well, hopefully see you again soon. Thank you. Thank you, Madhava Prabhu. Uh, thank you once again for coming back to Perth, and we hope you can come here more often. Um, and at least once a year, but if possible, even more often if you can. And thanks to all of you.